Hello my convicts and convicts. yes I designed a cup convict and yes I'm bringing you a slightly shorter game today. I did try to do some recording but my little boy decided to be a pain in the butt and the connections just were so bad through the night. I was struggling a little bit to get the connections out there and it was kind of annoying me. So as you can see we're playing some World War 2 and after playing obviously a lot of Modern Warfare with the speed of aiming I really wanted to try and obviously do that in World War 2 as well because it felt so weird. So as you can see here I'm just setting it up to try and get the aiming a little bit better so I can actually aim. I feel like I'm aiming because it was kind of weird. It felt awkward for me for the best part. But as you can see you guys here I'm like oh my god come on kill him. Eventually killed him and then the other guy got me unfortunately I had to reload. Like, right, surely they're going to come through here because this is where they were. So, flash that guy. Beat the other guy. It's like, okay, here we go. We're getting into the groove now. Like, surely he's going to hide in there. You never know when they're going to come through here. It's either through the building, this bit here, or through here. We are dominating them. Keep pushing. Okay, they're okay. So this is pre-recorded if you didn't realise, but uh, I did, like I said, I was going to do it as a live commentary, but because Rio had come downstairs at 1 o'clock in the morning, it was like, yeah, I'm going to have to just pre-record something and then obviously just add voice to it when I can, which is why I'm doing it now. So you'll notice from the title of this video, when it starts to happen, there's this poor chappy and he, he's running around with a hammer, sledgehammer. And it's kind of funny. It's it's one of my more funnier videos where you, you constantly get people trying to batter you all the times with weapons, especially hammers. So it's kind of funny. I enjoyed it. And I think we did pretty well, to say the least. And here he is, Mr. Hammerman. It's like now you're not getting me, buddy. You're not beating me with a hammer. You can get out. I noticed people obviously spawning behind me, so I thought I'd go this way. Get this guy off guard who's running away. Probably shouldn't have shot there, but hey, it's alright. I don't think he noticed. Alright, right, time to go back. So, for the best part, I've really enjoyed World War II. World War II has not been too bad since, obviously, the fixing all the problems and stuff. It's been really cool. So there you go, as you can see, just turning up a little bit more. This is the thing that I hope, obviously, they don't do with the new Call of Duty, with Call of Duty Black Ops. Is obviously keeping to what Modern Warfare is, where you can configure... Hello, Mr. Hammerman. Where you can configure your settings separately. Because having X and Y tied to your both your movement and your head when you're aiming is really, really awkward. And awful to try and play with because you've got to have a really high sensitivity that you're probably not comfortable with hip firing with just to obviously be able to aim at a speed that you want to aim at so yeah for the old days so I noticed there is a dude over here somewhere like, where are you where are you camping up where are you hiding bro Enemy strafing run inbound. and the main reason why I like my speeds to be higher is so that obviously I can walk around corners while ADSing, make sure I'm already on target. As normal people just run and then try to ADS you as so run around a corner because obviously they'll use slower ADS speeds to be able to just zip around and try and snap to you. I'm more of a drag aim, I drag my aim around while aiming down sight. Just feel that it's a little bit more comfortable for me and plus obviously I can outgun people at times because while they're trying to ADS I'm already shooting. So someone's just got battered by Hammerman there. It's like no you're not beating me Hammerman. Sorry buddy. Get back out there. I did try to pick up his hammer but unfortunately I can't find it. And here he is again. <laughs> Nearly getting me, but not quite. Got the paratroopers in, like, yes. There we go. Thank you to Buddy for just lining up for me. And here come the bros. Got the stack guy over here, is that okay? I nearly got my bombing run. Oh, 
bless. He's trying his best. Right, right, let me pick up the shotgun just in case. Right, there you go. Enjoy that shotgun. And here's my bombing run. I was going to try and kill a little bit more and then Go use my bombing run, but I hope. And there we go. Fritz X bomb mission underway. Right, and uh, well, yeah, we're coming towards it. Unfortunately, I only got a chance to do one video. For this, but hopefully enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if new. Tap that notification bell to be no notified of all my videos. And you truly can be one of my comics or comic heads. And yes, we went 16 and 3 in this gameplay. Hopefully enjoyed. I really do enjoy playing a bit of World War 2. I uh, just wish that you could separate both movement and head from each other. But yeah, that's just the way it is. Hopefully they'll continue this trend on. And maybe even give us a field of view slide. It would be nice in the future for Call of Duty. Anyway, you know who it is. It is I, the Cup Convict, Zanny out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts. Hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, there we go, 16 and 3. I think we did pretty well. Let me know in the comments below what your sensitivities are for World War II, if you're still playing it. And yes, hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget, subscribe, like, and bye for now.